Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create a subscribe button animation that looks just like this. Using Microsoft PowerPoint, I'll start off by opening PowerPoint and clicking blank presentation. And then I'm going to click on the current slide on the left and click the delete key on my keyboard. Then I'm going to click on the new slide drop down menu from the top and select blank slide. And next, I'm going to click on the design tab at the top, click on the format background button on the right, click on the fill color icon, and select the light green color under standard colors. Then I'm going to click on the insert tab, click the drop down arrow under pictures, click online pictures. In the Bing image search box, I'm going to type the word subscribe. I'm going to click on one of the subscribe buttons and click insert. I'll resize the button and delete any unwanted text that came in with the insert. I'm going to click on the insert tab again, go back to the arrow under the pictures button, click on online pictures, but this time in the Bing image search box, I'm going to be looking for bell icon. I'm going to click on the bell icon I like, then click insert. I'm going to resize the bell and delete any unwanted text. I'm going back into the insert tab one last time, clicking on the drop down arrow under pictures. Next, I'll be clicking on, chime in if you have the answer, online pictures. That's right. But this time in the Bing search box, I'll be looking for a mouse pointer. I'll find the one I like, select it and click on insert. And just like with the other ones, I'm going to resize it and remove the text below. Then I'm going to go into the animation tab. Next I'm clicking on the mouse icon I inserted, then clicking add animation at the top. Then I'm going to scroll down and select turns. You'll see a quick preview of the animation, but notice it's not going in the direction that you want. Simply drag the faded mouse cursor into the position that you want it to end up at when the animation is complete. Now click on the subscribe button, click add animation at the top, click on pulse, and you'll see a cool pulse animation preview. Now click the mouse pointer, click add animation again at the top, Scroll down and this time click lines. You'll see another quick preview of the animation and once again notice it's not going where you want it to go. This time you'll have to drag the faded mouse pointer to the bell because that's where we want it to be once the animation is complete. Then drag our non-faded mouse pointer to the subscribe button. Now click on the bell icon and once again click on add animation at the top and click on pulse. You'll see another cool preview of the pulse animation and we're all done. To preview your entire masterpiece, click on the animation pane. Then click on a blank gray area. Then click play all. If you're happy with your animation, click on file, export and create video. Select the appropriate resolution for yourself if you record your videos in 4K, then select 4K. If it's 1080p, then select that. Then click on create video. Name it, pick a folder you want to save it in, and click on save. All you have to do now is import it into a video editing program like iMovie and incorporate it into your next video. If you don't know how to do that, no worries. I'm planning on making a video in the near future that shows you how it can be done. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right hand corner of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.